just jump. Well, yeah. Norm, Norm, to have you here this morning, this is something we've been wanting to do for a long time, as you know, and coordinating it with, with family and friends and with the legislative uh, calendar this year. Uh, uh, while I come home every week, uh, the last six weeks, I come home and usually within 12 or 14 hours, something comes up and I'm right back on an airplane going back. Uh, I, I think we all know what we've been dealing with this year and we still have a lot of heavy lifting to do, so I hope you understand and I appreciate your patience about it, but this was too, too important of, of a, an opportunity for me to not do a little justice with it by, by uh, making sure that we had time and that I didn't uh, go having to run out of here uh, after about five seconds to, to, to uh, uh, formally award this uh, incredible, incredible recognition for you know we had it scheduled for the 29th of july you were supposed to be yeah, back here then, because of the debt ceiling issues and things they were sequestered back in washington yeah, back over that well, weekend but the nation clearly is a safer place today since we're here and not there <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but uh you know it's a, a lot of things have happened since 1968 and uh color of my hair has changed a little bit, <laughs> not quite as tall as I used to be, <laughs> but uh, we remember folks like you that made a difference. The incredible thing about what happened then and what we have hopefully learned since then is that while many may object to the war, there is a greater appreciation for the warrior. And that was one of I don't want to harp on the negative side, but you can't help but look at, at where we've come and why we have come in this direction since that dark time in our history. Uh, I was born in that era. I was raised in that era. And to see the way our service people, many if not most, were not going as volunteers. They were drafted and they answered the call to their country and did the job that, that uh, was incumbent on them to represent our country in, in fighting communism and the atrocities in other parts of the world. And a lot of folks didn't recognize the value of that. The positive thing that's come out of it, I think, is that today when, when our young men and women come home from, from the battlefields of Iraq, Afghanistan, wherever, there is a greater recognition, I think, for their contribution. Doing no small part to the job you did when you were there along with the other thousands and thousands of young troops, sailors, Marines, soldiers, airmen, who all played a role. They don't all get a bronze star, but they all played a major role. And for those that did put themselves in a very, very uh, difficult situation, and most of our heroes don't like to think of themselves as heroes. They were doing a job, and, and, I, and when I, uh, we have a couple members here that I want to recognize and salute from the great generation of WW2. Uh, I was younger then. In fact, there's a couple people in here that were younger then. But the fact remains is this nation is a safer place, a better place it has been for the last 60 plus years as a result of the contribution that you made. And I hate to think uh, what the alternatives would have been had it not been for the sacrifices of folks like these two gentlemen here in World War II. And then of course we went through Korea and now I know we went through Vietnam, probably one of the darkest ages in our, our country's history. Uh, and uh, with, with, with folks like this gentleman here, we're going to present the Bronze Star in a moment too. Uh, 
uh, our country is a better place today because of it. Uh, I think both uh, from a uh, from a structural standpoint, but more from a, a moral standpoint, recognizing what uh, our young men and women are doing to protect the liberty and to protect the future of this nation. And all I can say is God bless you, my friend, and uh, job well done. And uh, while uh, I'd like to be here presenting this to so many other wonderful folks that you served with, but when you're dealing with an issue like medevacs and so on, that gets a lot more personal. Uh, I've had the the uh, the honor of meeting with several families in recent months and years now who lost their son in, in uh, uh, Iraq or even in Afghanistan. One comes to mind that was a, a medical guy. And uh, this young man was doing much of what I understand you were doing, helping with a medevac situation. And, and uh, I mean, if, if there's ever a cardinal sin in war, it's taking on someone that's trying to save a fallen comrade. And uh, this young man, he wanted to be a paramedic and uh, from Sami Valley. Uh, so I don't mean to take anything away from what today is and, and honoring our friend, but everyone that has made a contribution to this country, uh, in, in many cases sacrificed, given the ultimate sacrifice. I think we're here today uh, not only to for our honoree, but for all those fallen comrades and, and folks that continue to make those sacrifices. And we're just, we just thank God that the, 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 that the sacrifice that you made uh, still brought you home. Uh, that wasn't something that was getting in your way when you were there. I'm sure that wasn't something you were thinking about. You're doing your job. That's why you got the bronze, bronze uh, 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 medal. Do we have that here, Brian? Or? I have it right here. Okay. Yeah. Does Norm want to say anything? Do you want to? Yeah, I'd like to have. Uh... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, at this time, I've been doing all of the talking, and uh, mainly because I, I want to recognize what Norm Campbell has done. Maybe he could take just a second, and if you're comfortable with kind of remembering just a little bit about what happened on that one uh, infamous day. Uh, and uh, Or if you're not, I re understand that. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Congressman Gallagher. And I'm, I'm pleased to be here today, uh, 43 years later, after 1968. Uh, uh, proud to uh, be a member of the 101st Airborne and serve in the Army, and uh, later in the Fire Department and also the Sheriff's Department. Glad to have family and friends here today. We have a number of uh, veterans, as you just mentioned, my friend Bill Gates and Lee Hawkins, both WW2 members, Mem many other members that were in the uh, in the Army and, uh, and Air Force and, uh, and other services were, are represented here today also. Uh, the, uh, the time in 1968 that this incident uh, reflects was a, uh, a uh, pretty tough time for us, it was in the uh, early part of May. I have a, on my picture board back here, I have a list of names. The one that started this. Uh, you want to refer to this oh, one? Oh, sure. Here, I'll bring it over to you. Here, let's get this way. Right You can say all you want, but he's not getting a raise. <laughs> well, I'm very grateful to that, Brian. Uh, he's, he's been very helpful with me. I, I just brought a few representative examples of, of pictures of uh, the time I was in the Army here. But uh, the incident that we're talking about today took place right here. Uh, this one here, the 5th of May, with Sergeant Elroy Byer. And it was a, uh, I recall it was a, a morning very similar to this. Kind of, gray and dark and we started out uh, going into this village and then uh, just 
it opened up, he got hit right away, and then, and from then on, I think our training just takes over. And uh, my friend, who's uh, my current friend now, who's our lieutenant at the time, this is named Dan Roach here, who was uh, heavily involved in all that. And, and later on, when he found out that that I uh, was not nominated or anything, in the last couple of years, he actually. Uh, Started with uh, to bat. Congress and and actually made a lot of notifications and contacted our former uh, commanding general and, and many other people to make this come about. So, and well, it's one of the greatest honors our office has in, in, in playing a role in making sure that that recognition is given and and it's it's clear this is a classic example of how a soldier goes in does his job. And, and for 30 years, never thought about any recognition about he's done his job, he's home, starting another job protecting people with the sheriff's department and so on, and uh, your buddies come along and say, hey, wait a minute, uh, maybe it's time to uh, recognize that uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, obviously, it wasn't something you were thinking about when you were in the trenches. Not at the time. <laughs> and it's, your training is part of it, but your heart's a part of it, too. And uh, that's what we're here about today. This was us then. There's, there's many of us now in this picture. <laughs> some things, some things change. Some things change. They do change a little. You know, uh, some, someone said to me the other day uh, in the cloakroom in, in Washington, uh, one of the dear sweet ladies, she said, you know, Congressman, I've seen you for almost 30 years. You're the only one around here that hasn't changed. And I said, well, I said, uh, one thing that has changed is your eyesight. <laughs> but, uh, we value this, and you have, you want to introduce any of your family sure. and so on that are here this morning? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to introduce my wife. This is Janice. And my son Bradley, who is a Marine. My other son Ryan, Semper Fi. Semper Fi. who's uh, right behind us there. Uh, he's a uh, current Los Angeles County Deputy Sheriff. Uh, his wife Kim, her mother Lois, right next to him. And then my grandson Colin. Grandma, what do you think about your grandfather? I think he's very brave and honorable. Oh, thanks, Colin. I think that says it all. My sister uh, Susan, brother-in-law, her son Kevin. Uh, Susan is a uh, commander in the sheriff's department. And we've got, uh, of course, the two, two fellows there from uh, uh, from the. Uh, no, did you both serve in, in, in the Army, Army Air Corps? Army Air Corps. Army Air Corps. Lee was in the Air Corps. Army. And uh, Bill was in the Army, uh, landed uh, D Day, and then uh, uh, came back later. Uh, and got out of the Army, and then they called him back again. Hey, you need to go to Korea this time, Bill. Oh. <laughs> so did, did you get your, your Korean medal that we uh, uh, introduced to, to Congress a few years ago? If not, make sure we get that for you. Because there are certain benefits and other things involved for those that served in Korea. While that was not a full-blown war by definition, in my opinion, it qualified and we were able to get uh, a legislation passed to, to honor our uh, folks in Korea as well. So you may have, you may be entitled to something you didn't even know about. We're here to, to see that that's rectified. But uh, uh, Rod, this is a great day for the family. I'm just sorry it took a little too long to, to get it done. But at the same time, we didn't want to do it just with a, you know, a drive-through type situation. I, I appreciate that. Well, that was 43 years, what's a day or two? <laughs> <laughs> Work out okay. Well, you know, I, I look around. I have a, I have a, a Janice at home as a wife. I have a Kevin at home as a son. So, uh, you know, we got a lot of things in common here. There she is, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy with her? I know him pretty well. Well, you, you didn't, uh, you know, uh, of course, you didn't go to Washington, so you didn't become a, you know. A, this was, uh, 50, you know, 40 years and 40 pounds ago. So uh, anyway, thank you for your service. Thank you for all coming out this morning. And, and perhaps at this point in time, we can take the uh, bronze star and, and, and uh, 
with incredible pleasure and honor that uh, that this morning let's see if we've got let's see if I have a date here I want to just check carefully I guess we don't have the actual date but I know it was 1968 well, May, May the 5th but, uh, 6th May the 6th. Uh, but on behalf of the people of Ventura County and all the citizens of the United States of America, it is my distinct honor and pleasure um, to present you to the Bronze Cross. Thank you for your patriotism. Thank you for service to the country. We're a better country because of people like you. God bless you. Yeah. Now, if, if anyone here would like to ask a question of well, I'm sure you'd be happy to, to answer. This is not something that uh, these things you don't buy at Kmart, I can assure you. So, uh, and uh, at that time, 1968, I'm sure you weren't thinking about this. You're just thinking about getting your job done and, uh, and hoping that it's God's will to get you home safely with your family. And uh, that happened, and uh, thanks to your friends, was time to recognize this, uh, although it wasn't really part of the equation when it happened, was it? <laughs> Anybody from the press have a question for, for Norm? Norm, when, when, uh, when, when did you find out that you were being awarded the Bronze Star? Uh, just a couple months ago. Okay. And then I got in touch with uh, Congressman Gallagher's office and, and Brian and, and, uh, and Sheila here, and we started making the arrangements for that. My friend, my friend Dan Roach, here, who's kind of surreptitious about this, been working on this for a couple of years, and he was uh, asking me a few questions from time to time because we Skype frequently. Well, where is he living now? He's uh, in Sacramento. He's up uh, in Northern California. He, uh, he, he kind of got all this, well, he did get all this going, and then as, as the time came along a couple of months ago, I, kind of got wind that there's something <laughs> happening and then he he finally told me and then I, I got the letter in the, in the mail from the army and then I have a feeling that it probably means about as much to him as it does to you he, he wishes he could be here today I, I, would, I, would, I would I dearly miss him I would love to have him here with us and, well, and he, he wants a picture so I hope we have one I'm <laughs> sure we'll find a picture <laughs> 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 how do you feel about getting well, I'm honored. I'm humbled. It's there. See, there's see these guys here. These guys. These guys here. All these guys. These guys here who never will come back. Who will always remain 19 and 20 years old. Uh, I'm here today with my family and friends, and and they're not here. So I uh, I feel that this is as much theirs as mine. So I I just happen to be there, and some of them will never be here. Well, and that's that's the ugly part of war. But without them, uh, many of us wouldn't be here. That's true. Or if we were, it would be in a different state of affairs. Sure. God bless you. Thank you, and for your service. Thank you, so Thank much. you for your friendship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us down.